hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm slightly off topic and we're not going to do any simulation today but I want to talk to you about the newer CAD software that's included in the newer version of ANSYS and that is called as the ANSYS space claim so in the previous version of ANSYS that I was using for my simulations I was uh, getting a software called as the design modeler when I used to click on the geometry to create my 2d and 3d designs and instead in the newer version i think starting from 17 and right now i'm using as this 18 so in 18 and 17 we have this newer cad software space claim so i thought that since the inf interface it looks quite modern and it's much different than what we used to have in the design modeler because that's very old generation CAD software. And just for the tutorials, I used to draw my geometries in design modeler, but I always, most of the time, I used uh, Autodesk Inventor or SolidWorks or, or even Katia to make my 3d geometries because design modeler wasn't really very effective and user friendly i should say for 3d complicated geometries but this particular software that they have currently included called space claim it looks much better and it's it feels very modern so i thought that maybe i should teach you something about it so to start with i'll just uh, go into the very basic drawings that we can do in here so first of all let me make you acquainted with the the ui itself so it says that we have the the total part as the design one that's the default and if you want to create any parts in here so earlier we used to create sketches and then we used to create surface from sketches we used to extrude those sketches so in this part it's very simple here so it starts with three modes so you can either use a 3d mode and you can use the sketch mode so because every 3d geometry it starts from a sketch so we can simply go to the sketch mode and when you click right click on the design one you can get a menu and you can select a new component and that implies that I'm adding a component and by component I mean, I mean that it's one individual part of the entire geometry. So suppose if you have a flow domain, just one flow domain, then you just need one component. And if you have a flow going on between two different solid surfaces, then you can define component one to be the fluid domain, component two be the upper, boundary and component 3 to be the lower boundary so i hope you get the idea of what this component is all about so if i have to say design something for the flow over a cylinder so we know that in my earlier tutorials i just used the flow domain and to make the flow domain i created a rectangle and i subtracted or I I made a hole in that rectangle to mimic the solid cylinder so to do that in space claim we have this uh, tool called rectangle and because the the sketching plan plane can be selected so I'm just choosing XY and it gets a bit faded to show that uh, you are in the plane and then you can go to rectangle and just draw a rectangle and to extrude it it's very easy just go to the pull button and as you go there you can see that as I go on the rectangle the the, the whole of the rectangle is highlighted and in the pull I get some settings that I can do from here so I'll just go for add because it says that add material when you pull and the cut is is just like making a hole in the material so I'll use it later so I'll just go to add and I'll just pull it along so so this is like my you can say it's like a wind tunnel right so this is like the uh, the flow domain so if I don't do anything and if I just insert this particular geometry in fluent uh, you can use this as the duct flow or the channel flow but 
I'll, I'll go a step further so then we can go ahead and make a sketch on this particular plane we choose this plane we select the circle and we just draw this small circle to say we want to have a flower cylinder I go to pull I go to cut this time and I just uh, left click it and drag it along and as you can see that I have made this beautiful hole in there so that's how easy it is I mean you don't really need to define a lot of surfaces you don't need to uh, create any boolean kind of thing that we used to do in design modeler to remove the sur one, sur one part from another part and it's as easy as that so it's a pretty neat trick that that has been used in many other CAD software and I'm really glad that ANSYS has made these improvements because it used to be a pain to import uh, the geometries that we used to make in other software to ANSYS because sometimes some of the details used to be missed and it used to create a lot of mess in fluent and in meshing so that is one thing and so this is uh, my design with only one component and I can use a similar kind of design with other components so for example now if I want to put uh, let's say I want to put a solid cylinder in between of real so that we can uh, if we want to define different properties of the cylinder and how it affects so that we can do it so to do that I just made a component 2 and for component 2 I will go again to the sketch mode I'll just choose this plane and I can go in there zoom over and I can simply choose the rect circle go ahead and made the circle because because my sketch option is already snapped to grid so it's pretty easy over here and then you can again use the pull button and you can simply pull it over that side so as you can see that I have a different color for component 2 so it's similar to what we have what we used to have in design modeler so in this way if you have a system that that has different components so if you have a system or if you have a say solid system with a lot of components or if you're doing something related to semiconductors where you have different layers of different materials you can simply add more components corresponding to all those different materials and in here ANSYS give you directly a way to fill the material so you can just go ahead if your material is not in the library don't worry just create a new material say it's my material and I'll say that it's uh, say it's a it's a solid it's a fluid and then I can define so if I say it's a water it's water I can define all of the things so usually uh, they, they have these properties for the fluid but uh, if you can't find any of the material or if you are very lazy just skip this part and you can define your materials in the fluent using the fluent library database which is much wider and you just need to import the material and it would be straight away imported and applied to your component so it's as easy as that and uh, I'll just go I'll just delete this part so that I can show you how to mesh this so I just have this particular domain uh, I, I remove this part so that it could be uh, faster for the meshing to perform the operations and you can give it a try I'm still uh, trying to get familiar with the space claim so I'm still new to it so I'm still exploring it I encourage you to do the same but uh, for basic geometries I think you've got the idea of how to do, perform the basic operations like adding the material removing the material having different materials in the same geometry so that should not be a hassle and I hope that you should be able to do it so I just go on to the mesh luckily the meshing platform is the same and I don't have any special thing in meshing so for the cylinder I've done it uh, maybe I'll, I'll want just some much finer mesh over this side so I'll just go ahead and I'll just create some refined mesh over this I mean we can do this I mean it's not mandatory but uh, whenever there are curved surfaces and we want to capture some some 
uh, more interesting results over here because we want to capture uh, the pressure drag and probably the von common vortex street in here so that's the reason why I mean if you have a geometry in, of this particular shape you can have more points around the discontinuous geometrical domain so I hope that by the end of this video you'll be able to make more geometries in space claim and if you want to ask something about it just feel free to ask I'll try to help I'll try to encourage you to make even better geometries and thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please do not forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can get all the updates that I'm trying to make you aware about and thank you once again